Good morning. It's a late start to a long day. Um, I haven't really set up my camera for sunrise any, uh, yet, and it's like 10 minutes till sunrise. Um, the clouds have just been kind of uninspiring. <laughs> you know, it's like if a, a photographer sees low clouds on the horizon and no clouds above that one bank of low clouds, then <laughs> it's like the worst time to shoot and like the most unmotivated, unmotivating time to shoot. But uh, sun's about to come up, so figured might as well try to get something. Maybe fly the drone up a little bit. But yeah, um, we're in for a long day today. Got a lot of plans. Um, and yeah, you guys are just here uh, joining me on the ride. some morning light on there but I'm gonna try and find a composition from down here that uh, really captures that gigantic cliff with the morning light in a nice way um, there's nice water flow though um, so yeah maybe we'll try and include some of that water flow in that composition but eh, I don't really know I don't really have any expectations of what shot to get or anything like that so we'll just see what the light is doing and react to it and adjust the shot as needed. Oh, this rock is wet. <laughs> I think as landscape photographers, som sometimes we fall into this trap of always having to shoot directly into the sun and always having to shoot super wide angle to try and capture like everything that's in front of us. But sometimes the best photographs are when you shoot with the light and you only take a small portion of that landscape and really isolate that and make that your subject rather than photographing directly into the sun with really bright dynamic range and really wide scenes. I think sometimes the smaller scenes and the more intimate landscape shots can be the most interesting and that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. This cliff is super iconic but I know that if I shoot from right down here at the beach I'm not going to be able to want to get wet. I'm, I'm not going to be able to shoot as wide as I would like so I'm going to try and really focus on only a sliver of that cliff and only a little bit of the ocean that's in front of me um, to try and capture something that's a little bit more unique, uh, not as iconic, but something that's more personal to me. behind me that the sun is rising, but I'm not shooting in that direction, uh, because right now it's directly in front of me, not that way, but that way, is some beautiful light on the cliff. And let me just, let me just show you guys, take you off the tripod real quick. Ooh. Ah, strings get attached to tripods. Anyways, look at this behind me, beautiful light. And this is all in shadow, but it's not super dark that uh, we need a bracket for it, but it's still there. And what I'm getting is the flow here with all this white water. Uh, as the waves crash, it creates a really nice flow, really nice white water. And right when it recedes, all of that white water, it looks like it's being sucked back into the ocean. Um, and I'm just pairing that with a nice background with it. Uh, it's not the iconic shot of this area, but Whoop, I'm gonna fall. You know, it's a shot that includes less of the cliff, uh, focuses the composition more, and is more personal to me.
the light still looks pretty good. Um, gonna toss the drone up, maybe burn half the battery and save the other other half of the battery for our hike today. Um, yeah, I think it's worth it. Might try some, try a few drone shots out. We'll see. We'll see. Obviously, I can't really see it because I'm here in the shade of this mountain, this small little hill, but I can definitely see it with the drone. And drone laws are kind of funky because legally you're only supposed to be flying 400 feet um, above the ground, but what is the quote unquote ground? There's a 400 foot mountain in the background. Is that considered ground level or is it from where I take off, like here on this beach and it's sea level? Um, so I'm just playing it safe. I'm only I'm not pushing any uh, any limits today. I'm just getting simple shots 400 feet above from where I took off, which is beach level of the uh, cove that I'm here here at, and then as well as the mountain in the background. And it's just it's just so beautiful. You like you can't not shoot it, right? <laughs> but yeah, the lights was good two seconds ago. It's starting to fade a little bit now. I think it might be going uh, behind a cloud or something. But yeah, it's such a beautiful day. I'm supposed to pick her up to a seven, so I can take my time walking back up this uh, this hill. Um, just take a moment to enjoy the fact that this is like five minutes from my house, uh, and just take a little bit of time for mindfulness to maybe do a little bit of like a semi meditation. I'm not like super into meditation, but just take a moment to appreciate the beauty that's around me. Upon doing my mindfulness and a little bit of like reflection, um, sometimes your eye just catches something that you didn't see before. Uh, and that's what I did here. Um, although the light is a little bit too harsh to take a shot, uh, and I have all my stuff packed away, at least I have this one shot in mind when the conditions look favorable for it. So when I next time when I see that there's a clear horizon 
and like no clouds in the sky to shoot for interest, then you can always come back here and get this one shot that I've got today. Um, and that's why it's so important for photographers especially to be in tune and take those moments to be in tune with the landscape. If you're just going out and running around and taking pictures and trying to look for interesting things, it can take you away from a place that uh, really immerses yourself within nature, uh, appreciates nature, and just allows your eye to, to, it takes you away from a place to allow your eye to just wander, uh, find different things, see different things, and then eventually when you're in that zone, you'll find a photograph or you'll find something that you're looking for that doesn't really, uh, that you weren't able to see before. This is really nasty. Bagged up the rubbish, time to go. Dog owners, man, I tell you. <laughs> Picked up the GF. She's hiding from the camera. But yeah, we're gonna head out to our hike now. Just got to our hike and we're about to go die. Yeah, we're just we were tired from walking up this little hill. She's got it though. We are low key, not even low key, high key dying. <laughs> Whew. Always remember to stay hydrated. What are you talking about? The camera. Can I saw it? Yeah, it's recording. You can hear me. <gasps> mm hmm <laughs> You can hear the sound of us dying. Whew. It's good hiking weather though. But Is it? Sunny and there's no wind. But that's a good and a bad thing because then when you're hiking you die. But when you get to the, your spot, then you can shoot without wind in your face. Are we halfway there? Uh, maybe. Maybe halfway up the first hill. And then we have another hill after that. It's not as bad as this one, though. We're almost done. Keep walking. Made it up the first hill. Uh, still got quite a bit to go, but man, these views are just amazing. That water looks so inviting. But Kylie didn't bring her swimsuit, so we're not gonna hop in the water after, unfortunately.
Such a beautiful place. I mean, like, look at all the views around us. We've got mountains on that side, the islands in the chair, this beautiful ocean on this side. But yeah, take some photos of Kylie now. Just that jump. <laughs> oh, finally done with the first hill on the way back. Oh my god, we are dead. Freedom! Oh pal, with a very very treacherous hike. Ain't that right? She probably hates me. No. <laughs> but man, that morning light is so nice over the ocean. It's just so hot. <laughs> Okay, quick vlog update for the outro. Um, back home after lunch, um, went to a nice dim sum place, had some great food. Thank you to Uncle Mike and Auntie Casey for always feeding us. Um, we had originally planned to do a surf sesh this afternoon in Waikiki, but on our way to lunch, we got news that there were 41 new COVID cases here in Hawaii. Um, and that's a record uh, at the time of recording this video. I anticipate that as we see the 4th of July gatherings, uh, those cases come in, that that number is gonna grow higher. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, it's the highest uh, increase that we've seen here in Hawaii since the start of the whole pandemic. Um, so on top of that, we are super stuffed from the amount of food that we ate during lunch. So we just decided to call it a day at that point, just went home, <laughs> showered, um, about to get some rest, maybe take a nap. But yeah, thank you guys for joining us on today's adventures. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Depends if I get up for sunrise, which I'm not sure if I will, but yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>